on this series art today a watercolor pencil rendering uh, I'm gonna start off with a quick sketch of one of the bell peppers that I grew in the gar in my container garden uh, and I'll start off with a really quick sketch and I'm working with watercolor pencils and today I'm only gonna focus on uh, adding color blocking in color and I will focus on maybe um, just blending but only with watercolor pencils today okay um so i'm gonna go ahead and do a quick sketch real quick and and, and block in some color and i love working with watercolor pencils i found uh, i've started working with them a few years ago and found the uh medium to be extremely versatile uh you can use them as watercolor pencils and turn your your rendering into a watercolor painting or you can really just use them as, as colored pencils uh, and they really give you a really rich and vibrant color uh, when doing so. Uh, I love working from photographs that I take uh, and lately I've been working on uh, photographing uh, uh, things in my garden, my container garden. I love documenting uh, the progress I have uh, with various uh, crops and, um, you know, I find myself uh, coming up with some really interesting um, uh, photographs. Some really worthy of, of turning into a, a painting. Um, so I'm working with some uh, earth tones, mainly green. I uh, will be using a little bit of yellow, but I will also use a little orange uh, and uh, burnt or orca uh, for the background and stuff like that. Uh, normally, I would start uh, blocking in color with the negative space, but I'm do, kind of working in reverse this time. I'm blocking in color um, with the uh, main image for now. and. Um, you know, I love being able to uh, just just really uh, uh, work with this medium and, and just build on it. What I will do, uh, as you see later on, is when, when you're blending mainly with uh, watercolor pencils and nothing else, um, it's important that you allow the, uh, the painting to, to dry before you go in and apply another layer of color. Um, but that'll come a little bit later and I'll show you that a little bit later. But right now I'm just trying to get the overall composition uh, with blocking in color and things like that before I begin to, to blend. Uh, and so I'm gonna work this a little bit more and uh, you can kind of check it out a little bit. Yeah, and so when once I sort of block in just the basic color, the basic and get the basic composition down, um, I'll come in now and I'll just kind of add uh, some color for the background. Again, working with some orange and burnt orca, things like that, um, just to uh, uh, give it a you know a, a nice little background. And <clears throat> I'll probably add a little bit of yellow and stuff because in the photograph, you will see uh, hints of yellow uh, in the photograph. But I'm still, again, just working with blocking in color and trying to get the overall look before I actually start to blend. Yeah, and so uh, once I get uh, the overall composition down and I start blending, uh, I just love, you know, once we apply uh, the water, it just activates the 
watercolor pencils and turns it into a watercolor painting. Now I'm going to work uh, like I normally would do, work with the negative space first, blending it and just go around and again I will I can you can build on on your color uh, again once you uh, complete the first you know uh, I say layer of, of blending um, once it dries you can go back in and add an even dark to get it darker or richer you can go back in and add more color uh, and then repeat this process several times depending on how how deep and dark and rich you want your your painting to be um, I always love working again from photographs uh, that I take and I have another series uh, on my YouTube channel called art in the garden and some of these pieces here are slight you know they're featured in the uh, art in the garden series but the main focus there is to share a little bit of the art i do but also to you know give you updates uh on the container garden and show you what i'm growing and how i'm growing things and this was a wonderful uh crop that i tried out for the first time these bell peppers uh and they turned out really great uh, the first batch that I harvest, I harvest about seven, eight bell peppers uh, from this one plant initially. Uh, and then as they continue to grow out throughout the rest of the summer or growing season, um, the next round of, of bell peppers were a lot smaller uh, than the original or uh, the initial uh, harvest. And I was kind of curious if anybody had any ideas why that may be the case. Again, I'm growing in containers, uh, so maybe that had something to do with it. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I, like I said, love working with this watercolor pencil. Uh, I'm blending a little bit more here and just a little bit more to go. Um, and you'll kind of see an idea, get an idea of, of, how the composition looks and even with blending with the first in my opinion the first round of watercolor blending or uh, watercolor pencil blending it's also just blocking in color you can go in again later on and you can blend with more watercolor pencils and water you can use prismacolor blending sticks and things like that or you can just go in with just a regular pencil and not blend at all and just let that be your final rendering uh but i can show you what the the final composition look like in a few minutes uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to grab the highlights, uh, trying to grab some of those dark areas and stuff to show some contrast and stuff. Uh, and just really having a good time. Again, a wonderful medium uh, to try out. Really clean, not necessarily a, a messy medium. Great for working with, with students. We're great for working with your children at home because it's not a lot of cleanup that you have to worry about. If something spills, grab a paper towel, grab a uh, towel, a paper towel or something like that, just wipe it up. Not a lot of cleanup to do and easily washes out of your, your uh, washes out of clothes if, if by chance you get maybe a stain or two on your clothes and stuff. But yeah, this is, as I'm coming to a close with just this first layer of blending, um, yeah, I've had a good time with it. I'll probably I'll go back in and you'll see how I go back in and add it more uh, color, more contrast and dark uh, color to show uh, some more shadows and things like that. But yeah, had a great time with this. And uh, yeah, I love it. I love the medium. I love working with it and uh, you can work pretty quick with it. And yeah. And so once this dries, I'll go back in and add just a little more uh, 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 color to it, add some more Prismacolor, I mean, watercolor pencils to it, an another layer, blend that a little bit more. And if I'm not satisfied with the richness and the darkness of it, I'll probably add another th third layer. But it's, you don't necessarily have to just use 
just water to blend the watercolor pencils again. You can use the Prismacolor, you can use other uh, uh, blending sticks and things like that. So hey, if you like what I'm doing, if you like this demonstration and you want to know about it a little bit more, or if you want to support what I'm doing, you can always purchase some of these prints that are on my website. Uh, I encourage you to do that. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time at this next Art Today demonstration. Thanks for watching.